After a difficult opening weekend in Nagaro, Aston Martin are looking to bounce back here in Belgium. Andreas Zuber and Sergei Afanasiev were hampered by a lack of track time, but the seven car in the hands of Maxime Martin and Alexei Vasiliev showed good pace, and Max feels this weekend will be stronger for the DBRS9. I'm really happy to be here in Zolder in my home race with the Aston, where I think that the track is quite nice for the Aston, so I hope we can do quite not so bad. Audi's start to the 2012 championship was perfect. A 1-2 in both the qualifying and championship race leaves them as the team to beat. Oliver Jarvis and Frank Stippler will be pushing for the top step after two second places. And the Belgian Audi club run cars will also be hoping for a strong performance at their home circuit, with local man Laurence Van Thorp knowing exactly what the squad need to do to repeat their success in Nagaro. Well, it's my home race in Zolder, I live 50 meters from here, so uh, we hope to do good. But we will do our, our job, work hard, try to not make any failures, and then we will get the result we deserve. Double GT1 champions, Vita for One racing team, endured a testing weekend in Nagaro, finishing 10th and 11th in the championship race. Things are looking better for Zolder, though, where the Z4 seems more at home after Friday practice. Any hopes of strong finishes will rely on GT ace Yelma Berman performing to the best of his abilities. Well, this is a real BMW track, so uh, hopefully with a new balance of performance we'll be aiming to get on the podium. Nagaro was a case of what might have been for Ferrari. The Italian mark had their strong dry pace hampered by rain in the qualifying race, then a drive-through penalty in the championship race. But Tony Valanda and Philippe Salacuada are once again looking like they're going to be at the sharp end this weekend. Francesco Castellacci will pilot the number 4458 alongside another man hoping his local knowledge will help him in Belgium, Enzo Ede. For this weekend's race we will push like hell, we will try to get on the podium as this is my home track and uh, the car feels really great. Ford were battling against time to be prepared for the opening round of the season. But with a more settled crew, Matteo Crisoni is hoping that he and Milos Pavlovic can do a better job this weekend. We have worked a lot for after the first race. Uh, we have an almost new car here. We hope to do a really good job. Writer Engineering once again showed their technical expertise in Nagaro, guiding the Lamborghini to a strong set of finishes. A brilliant drive in the championship race from Peter Cox to take seventh position on Easter Monday pleased the team. But it was the qualifying race heroics of Thomas Enger that took the plaudits. He climbed from seventh to first in the opening two laps. It's a beautiful circuit. We know the Lamborghinis uh, did well here last year. We hope to repeat the same. I'm really proud of my stint in qualifying race uh, in Ogaro. And I hope the conditions will be about as similar because we know in the uh, rain conditions, the Lambo is great. It may have been the home race for the Hexis team, but Nagaro was a weekend to forget for the French squad. Steph Dusseldorf crashed on the reconnaissance lap for the qualifying race, and neither machine managed to make it to the end of the championship race as they both retired with technical problems. But Dusseldorf is confident the team can make amends. So we're here in Zolder trying to put a good result after a difficult weekend in uh, Nogaro, but I'm sure with the home crowd and the home race we can do a good result. The Mercedes were the best of the rest in Nogaro after Audi's domination. The Alinkle.com Munich Motorsports team left the French circuit second in the team's championship after Marc Basseng and Marcus Winkelhock guided their SLS AMG to third in the championship race. They took maximum points in last season's round at Zolder, albeit in the Lamborghini, but Thomas Jaeger thinks they can repeat that success this weekend. Yeah, we are here in Zolder. We have good memories from last year uh, when we started on pole position. Unfortunately, we didn't make it uh, to a win in the race, so hopefully we can do that uh, this year. Still need to gain a little bit of speed and uh, hopefully we do that tomorrow. Porsche 2 had a strong opening weekend and deserved more than their ninth place in the championship race. Mike Parisi starred at his home event and his teammate Matt Halliday is feeling positive ahead of the race. Well this weekend here in, uh, in Zolder we, uh, you know, we, we've been quick in practice, we're going to put our head down and try and uh, you know, carry through to get a good result. So Saturday and Sunday where the points are so hopefully it goes smooth.